Hello and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Mysterious Gamer X. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm T Stymac. And we're gonna skip the order of the Dark Souls game because this technically isn't one. Welcome to Bloodborne. So I've never actually played this one before. Uh, I sort of touched it a little bit before uh, we started recording, but I, I haven't fought anybody or anything. Yeah, you just sort of marveled at the streamlined menu. Yes, yeah, that. Much better <laughs> menu. <laughs> now, I am going to show my my stripes here and say that I disagree with oh, that. Yeah. I think that the more uh, complicated and obtuse a menu and a mechanic yeah, system like is, the better. That's because your favorite Elder Scrolls game is Morrowind. Yes, because it's the best you need only one. Unravel its mystery. Because it's the most obtuse one. I mean, I also really like this setting. No, not oh, the setting's like, great, but, I mean, existing in that setting is hard and brutal and harsh. And, and not because it's a medieval setting, but because I don't know where things are. How did I get here? I'm lost in a pit and I can't get out. Uh, oh, what's that? You need fast travel? You better go kill enough things to be able to afford fast travel. Peasant. Alright. Let's uh, make him pretty. Oh. oh. I mean, you know. Challenge accepted. I mean, do whatever feels right. Uh, I will say that the one thing I know about this game is, is that you get to be alive. Oh yeah, you're alive so, the like, entire time. So like, as far as I can tell, this is how you're going to look. Rather than uh, Dark Souls, where you make something and then you get to see what it would look like after it sat on a barbecue for too long. So, you know, this perhaps has a bit more weight this time around because you'll actually get to, you know, experience there, the world that, as this. Oh boy. Yeah, there's no, that there's Dark your... Souls hollow skin color that is not, uh, you know, you're they not just actually a black person. They, you're just well, no, they just kept that texture from the first oh. game. This is also very good. You know, I give them props for including it, but man. Well, I mean, they already made the texture in the first game. Why, why get rid of assets you've already got, like, done? I think we should settle on human at some point. Here we go. We'll go with this. This pale ghost <sighs> woman. This aged pale f I mean, arm. you know... It works. Whatever it takes. We're here to try to find a, a cure for whatever the heck pale blood is. So. This. What I, you're looking I at. I was going to say, but, you know. Clear. Well, obviously, we're looking for the cure. This is someone who has a very vested interest in finding out what skin pigmentation is. Legs all the way down. Arms all the way up. Abdomen. Right. Yes, please. So, skipping leg day. Chest. No. Head. <laughs> yes. No middle sliders. Okay. All right. Okay. Subscribing to the McElroy uh, school of character generation, I see. Where, you know, why are there even sliders? Everything is binary. Now, here's where the action is. Pick a number between one and ten. Four. Well, that's certainly a face. Let's see. I mean. Fish lip, but all right. So just right. Very pick, pick a number between one and ten. One. Why? <laughs> Why? This is a perfectly acceptable face. Why are you doing this? Oh man, this is very good. I like this. This is. Uh, <laughs> let's really see what we can get. It's oh, getting it's yes. jaundice. It's getting there. Get it's jaundice. Get, it's getting jaundice. It's it's getting a bit distended, a bit distorted. Here we go. We found it. Didn't take long. You know, finding the Lovecraftian horror of this game isn't going to be too hard, is it? Perfect. I mean... And... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh. There we go. Oh. It's a little rough around the everything. But, uh... Okay. Oh, that's the color of the rims. That's no fun. People got out ahead of me. You wanted, you wanted rose-tinted glasses? Is that what that was? Maybe. Oh. Yes! Oh, there you go. Oh, that is... You got what you wanted. That is very good. Your, your Helsing glasses over there. Uh, 
uh... About to take very enthusiastic walks. You know, you're not dead, right? This well, is a game where you're alive. Where you're an alive person. I think that I'm very... If I'm remembering right from the opening cutscene, I'm very sick. So, you know. <laughs> Skin color Oof. makeup. Oof. Oh, what? Ah. You know, you kind of look like Howard Stern. All the way. Blue. Like if he had a blue. blood disease. Purple. But like as far as like the, the, the face yes. musculature, the face well, that's, meets. That's what happens when you try to cure all of your disease all at once with silver. Oh, colloidal, no, no colloidal silver color. baths. There we go. No, nose bridge, red. Red nose bridge. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's, I'm liking this. Uh, cheek color. Go with white. Why, why did why did we give T Stymac the controller for this know. part? I don't know. Oh, yes, and you didn't give me a time limit. You, that's true. We really should have. We really should have put some sanctions on this. I think. Laugh lines? No. This you... person has never laughed about anything. <laughs> why would they? This person looks like. This person looks like early attempts at like morgue makeup. Yeah. Like. When you're learning how to be a mortuary assistant and you're trying to make the person look like they're still alive when they're in the box. There. Yes. This no is real bad. Starters. Real bad. Hey, lipstick, guys! What do you think? Dark red? I think the first thing I'm gonna do is find a helmet with a mask on it. Yeah. We've got a whole <laughs> aesthetic. I think that we have you a whole... are being really unkind. We have a whole something. I am being really unkind and I'm glad you noticed. Hair color. No. I saw beard color and I was like, oh, does it give the option for beards? We could probably... Oh, perfect. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Where did you find hair dye in, like, medieval wherever this is? Yes. Yes. This is very good. This is a <laughs> good game. So, full helmet, then. <laughs> Turn that beard color all the way up. Eyelashes. But you don't have a beard. No. Ah, this is good. This is uh <laughs> size of pupils. This isn't even gonna way. matter, you have glasses on. Color of pupils. You know the answer to that. It doesn't Here. even we can't even tell. Oh you've broken it too much now. Right pupil. Well, let's make right pupil red. Oh, we're we going for the special snowflake anime character with the two different color eyes. What do you think? Of course, like I already made a special snowflake anime. I think that uh, <laughs> the name. Okay, I figured out a name for our our special princess here, and she is uh, going to be best girl. Or maybe just can we, can we I'm make going it... to name this character waifu. Be Besto. Nope. Best of waifu. Ah, <laughs> oh, my name is gonna be on this forever. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. This is. Have we met? This is. This is gonna be on the internet for the for the entire internet to enjoy. Face shape. You know what? No, it's already. Right. Can't, can't mess with perfection. What am I even thinking? Uh, let's see. It's hard to look directly at, if I'm being entirely honest. Ah. It's it's kind of like the Eclipse. I feel like I need to go get my Eclipse glasses back out. Perfect. Look at this. This is good. I've done a good thing, <laughs> and... You made Ronald McDonald. <laughs> but it's too late now. Ugh. Ah! What? Oh, oh, you turned so on. T Stymac doesn't know how to oh, use no. the play PS4 because he what? plays on an Xbox 360. Now, I'm a man from the past. <laughs> aim and aim, a, a, a point and shoot. So the left trigger is your. Uh, there you go. <laughs> well, at least he's capitalizing yeah, waifu. At least he's capitalizing waifu. Oops, that's not how you spell that word. Waifu. <laughs> <laughs> Wife, Robert, space, Rufter. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, we're playing online. Yes, <laughs> yes, we are. Oh boy. Oh, we have fun here. The internet will literally be paying us a visit at some point. All right. Oh. All right. You guys ready to venture out into the world with Best Girl Waifu? No. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Why not? Because uh, is think Best very... her is Best her middle name? No. Uh, her last name is Best Girl. Well, her last name is Best Girl, but she prefers to be addressed in the Japanese fashion. So Best Girl Waifu, even oh. though. I think we can all tell where she comes from. Gotham City after a tragic accident falling into a <laughs> vat of something? I think that you folks need to uh, really just embrace this thing that I have hewn from the living rock <laughs> that sprang full formed from I, my I do split not, skull. I do not want to embrace Slender Woman. <laughs> I mean, we're going to have to embrace it. We're going to be living together for 80 hours. Uh, uh, okay. Now, here's the question. Is the... This is a very good one-shot we were doing. Very good one-shot. <laughs> very pleased with it. Now, here's the thing that bothers me. This guy doesn't react. It's like, oh, that's Oh, no. You... He's seen things. <laughs> uh, isn't he blind? He's got, like, rags over his, his eye bits. You know, See, he's got that good gauze. I, I I had heard that Bloodborne is just Dark Souls through a Lovecraftian filter, uh, a Victorian Lovecraftian filter, and I oh, thought no. I'd I'd get out ahead of that. Like, have you I, ever wondered why? Uh, I just I just heard it was uh, Dark Souls, except that uh, you're alive and you try to keep it that way very violently. <laughs> They're like, we're taking away shields, we're giving you a gun, and you can literally punch your health back into your body. I do. That is a, that is a true thing, yes. <clears throat> So, here's a, here's a blood werewolf, I guess. Which is uh, <coughs> probably the third or fourth best kind of werewolf. Very flammable, apparently, though. I mean, look at that. With plenty of extra limbs. That was, uh... Well, I mean, it's good to have extras. So I've already seen this. I'm trying to recapture the magic for the good people of the internet. We we did basically stop right after this in order oh, to get the like ghost babies? the apparatus put together. They're your friends. <laughs> you know. Really? Yep. With their vagina mouths and everything. I actually. You know, I was I was gonna leave that unsaid, but yeah, yeah. Well, they're, nice bloodborne. They're 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 uh. This is disturbing this is lot. I never uh, got quite as far into Dark Souls as I would like, because I wanted to talk about... Uh, yes, very good. Very thankful for that hood. Yeah. Hang on, let's check something <laughs> here. Um, View notes. What's my open menu button? Probably options. <laughs> Whoa, what did I... What? Uh, you just used your health to create five bullets. Whoops. Yeah, that's gonna not be good. That's okay, though. Everything's a learning experience. So the options button is, uh, that one. Ah, thank you. Uh, inventory. <laughs> Return of the, uh, the menu boss. It is the first and most insidious boss most of the time. So you go literally oh, just okay. go down. Everything does look these, a little better though. Do these do anything? Yeah, you're close. They have oh. defense. They have defense? Yeah. Okay. How do I learn what the defense options are? Right. Ah, this is more more my used to More familiar. <laughs> all the all the stats and tables laid out. We've got our Excel spreadsheets up. <laughs> Remove them from the previous oh. screen. Thank you. Why? All right. Know. Are we still wearing them for defense sake? No. Okay, so we are running around naked now. Yeah. That seems like a bad plan considering yeah, we picked waste of plan. skin. Well, oh yeah. Why did we pick waste of skin? Uh, you know, for fun and profit. 
<clears throat> just just checking. I mean, there was a whole list of interesting and then not so interesting backgrounds. I mean, Milk Toast is literally nothing interesting, average dude. Nothing interesting, the average dude with seven more levels than we got. Yeah. Okay, so I no, can't this... even equip the Okay, correct. Okay, here we go. This is what I wanted. This is perfect. Okay, great. No. All I wanted to know was how much it was helping. Arms. Nine. Don't don't have those yet, no. I mean, you just got off a gurney. I guess we should be glad that you got to keep your clothes. Dodge roll. Oh, yes. Prime. Dodge roll and some punches and kicks. That's that's what we have. Uh Are those basically like the the messages from the other players? Yep, yep. That's exactly what those are. We didn't get to see those in uh Dark, Dark Souls, Souls, which is a shame. Because well, the game's a million years old. Well I guess we're getting into the thick of it now as our very unfortunate child. Not about as well as I expected. <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure that's a supposed to lose fight. You can win that fight. Of course you can win that fight, just like you can win the fight at the start of Demon Souls. Well, technically, I suppose. Uh, I, I did notice that you did good damage against it. We probably would have done a bit better if we had stats. Or equipment. Yes, I did three and four with my hits. Yep. That but, werewolf uh, is pretty gentle good effort. with me, it looks like. What's that? I said that werewolf is apparently pretty gentle with me. Oh, you're still there. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I mean... I mean, kinda? This game has its own way of dealing with you when you, uh, disappoint it. Fall short. Yeah, tutorial land. Look at all those tutorial talks. They've got those... Those true facts for you. Fair enough. Can't have you wandered too far away. You've got to go back and beat that werewolf. Yeah. The single werewolf. Yeah. I mean, you know, the you got to start somewhere. The damaged werewolf. I did notice that. Ah. Oh, it's one of the little... Ghost friends. Easy shop. What is a shop? Oh, right. Are because all of you your don't shops refill. little ghost babies? Oh. Mm. Oh, well, they ran into the one guy. Ah. Uh -huh. Alright. <laughs> yeah, none of us have actually gotten too far into this uh, with Mysterious Gamer X having. What comes closest to experience with it, uh, having made it? Offer you a trick weapon. Oh, I think I saw you saw cleaver, with this. which is the one in all the promotional materials. The hunter axe, which is your heavy <clears throat> option, and your threaded cane, which is your skill agility option, option I guess. Yep. It's a cane that breaks apart into like a whip thing. Uh, well, let's actually go and click on. No, not those ones. Those are specters. They got the red. But you're gonna want to go up to that second group of messengers to go grab a gun. What did we pick for a weapon? The cane. So the pistol does more damage. The blunderbuss has a wider blast radius for interrupting. Ah. I'd forgotten for him how good that was. Ugh. I occasionally catch a, catch a glimpse of it. Now we go back to the uh, tombstone with the guys reaching out of it. Uh, next to you, to your uh, left. Ah, 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 that teleports us to zones, although you might want to equip those weapons. Equipping things is good. Nope, still not that one. Oh, I'm starting to understand how everybody else feels. <laughs> 
You're getting there. I'm just glad it's not me having to fight the menu boss. And then you use L1 to change the way the weapon works. Oh, I like this. You can even attack and then uh, transition into the other type of weapon for another attack. You know, it gets to be a cross between, like, uh, what's his name? The guy from the, the, the Avengers. The, the British one, though. Uh, something Steed. You're the only I think one it's just that Steed. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Uh, you get to be a cross between him fighting with your cane and Simon Belmont. <laughs> oh, speaking of that. Has anybody else watched the uh, Castlevania anime on Netflix? Yeah. yeah, the like four episode like intro. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, I think they reined in Warren Ellis well enough that he did some good writing. <laughs> there was definitely a handler, for sure. My uh, somebody there to smack his hand every now and again and go no. I like that they had the uh, the straight laced character the roguish character and the sexy character and they're not the ones you think that's true that's, that's also a good point that's also true <laughs> i uh my big takeaway from it was boy they sure saved money on animation wherever they could right up until the end well i mean they had a fight scene to animate those are expensive it's that's true. true fight scene was very good though uh no they uh i think they i think it was a good proof of concept uh, I hope the ratings on it were well enough that they decide to make more, because... Well, I it, suppose you can brute force your way right through that fight. It would be a shame to, uh... So I should tell you, all your buttons, for the most part, are still in the same location. Right, okay, I was trying to parry with the wrong button, is what yeah. I was doing. Yeah, now your parry's the, the left trigger, right? because you shoot the guy. But, uh... Shoot. And then the lantern... Huh? That, no, you're going to want to click that. Oh. There you go. You don't have to go back. Oh. oh. Although you're going to get your health back. So this is, uh... This is fun. This is fun, me being the guy who doesn't know what's going on. It's certainly a new experience for you. Uh, but no, I liked, I liked the, uh... <laughs> I liked the presentation. The characters are interesting. I'd like to see more of it. Hopefully they actually make good on it. Because it'd be a shame to waste all that setup. Yeah. It was, uh... I, I enjoyed it. There are things that I thought could have been done better, but... Oh, sure. Uh, like, I understand why they weren't. So, where are you off to? That's a real good question. That I don't have an answer to. Alright. Back here, apparently. So, is going back here going to spawn a new uh, blood werewolf? No. That one stays dead. Uh, so, in Dark Souls 2, if you kill too many people, they stay gone forever. Is that the case here? Uh... I don't okay. believe so. I died a lot in the early bits, so... Alright. So, go back, head up the stairs. Oh. So are the lanterns like the uh, bonfires of the... Uh... Yes, they are. Here. If you go, you can talk to that... Yeah, he's a guy, you'll find him. Uh, you... Talk to that door. Out on the hunt. Now, out in the wild, I'm very if sorry, a window or a door has I a red lantern next to it, mm -hmm. that is an interactable NPC. I, I uh, know that you hunt for us, for our town, but I'm sorry. And unlike Dark Souls, Please. in Bloodborne, you are playing through the this story as it happens, instead of mopping up afterwards. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's fair. Like, this room's full of sick people that could be corrupted by whatever the heck's going on, so she's not letting the door open it for anybody. Ah. That's um, but now that's an item you can afford. Gave you an item, did what they could for you, but please go away. <laughs> and don't don't attack the door. Oh, Why not? She asked please, you not to. Stop. It beasts you hunt. What? Why are you what Why? happens if you keep doing this? That's the question, isn't it? I can't be the real you. Please stop. 
Uh, Look at no is this the face? Wow. Oh. She gave you a blood vial, which is a very powerful healing item. Okay. Just saying. Might not give you another one. Uh, mm. I didn't know that. What do we got here? Got <laughs> blood vial on top there. Doing the thing because you could. I mean, like, like one does in games, I suppose. Remind me not to invite you over to play Undertale when you get a copy of that. You know, that was my I've already played. That was my very first thought. I was like, well, I mean, I guess if we wanted to do a genocide run, we know who to call. <laughs> I, I, I will admit that I don't think I have the. That is unkind. I don't think I played I... Undertale. I tried to do pacifist run. Couldn't figure out how to get past the first part, and, uh, like... What first part? Uh, when you kill your, like... Goat mom? mom? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't have to kill your mom. <sighs> no, no you don't. I just couldn't figure out how to get past her in any other way. It didn't occur to me that you could run away from fights. Oof. So... The game treats you rather poorly after that. Yeah, well... Like, in terms of interactions. Yeah. No? No, I... Most people use capitalization. Right? Also, I wasn't suggesting that, uh... That your first playthrough was a, a genocide run. Merely that at some point it crossed your mind that you could do one. Well, yeah. I mean, you can always <laughs> kill everyone around you. I guess I liked the idea of of not simply because it's more novel to be able to not. <sighs> Babe. I gotta find somebody to stab up real good. Not nah, thank God. <laughs> Although you should still do that. The stabbing bit, I mean. Right. Just in general, it's it's good practice. <sighs> Uh, That's... I will say that what little I've watched of the game seems to favor, again, uh, really big dudes as enemies. Mm -hmm. uh, with the one exception that I've seen being, like, the werewolf things. Which uh, are a lot more terrifying than the, the starter one. Yeah, I'd imagine. Like, I kind of thought they weren't too bad. When I saw this, the tutorial one, and then, like the very next one was just oh, yeah. a no, nightmare. They're, they're not. Device. I already deviced. You did device. I didn't do that. You deviced something else, I guess. This is like blood. What was what, 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 blood or? Where you you open the thing and it says a door has opened in another world. What game is that? Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say I, I don't have enough to go on there. I am sorry, friend. Hexen. In Hexen, when you would open a door. Oh. Mm. I don't know if I've actually played Hexen. Like I've heard of it, but it's old as butts and it wasn't very good at the time. That's in my opinion. Uh, I'm sure I've just. The Hexen family. Oh, yeah. I mean, so you should if there's a game, uh, somebody likes it. Directly to the right of that switch. I mean, oh, there's a ladder! There's a big ladder. Was that I what just, the switch did? Yeah. I just thought that was architecture. Man, I am well, all of my... It's a, it's a newer game. That's true. It's not necessarily as obvious. This is... It looks great. But on the other hand, I don't particularly like the way it looks as much. You should light that lamp. Right, because that's that's a bonfire. Yeah. What a and there's a window and a red light. In it. What do you not like? I have to ask. Ooh, uh, you must be a hunter. It's just kind of over designed. Not one from like around, things are. Neither. There's more. I'm Gilbert, a fellow outsider. Stuff. 
that is really feels necessary. If that makes sense. Great ornamental. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, that is that uh, architectural style, I suppose. Yeah, that's true. I mean, a lot of it was very opulent and ornate. It's, really? You don't say. This it's, town is cursed. On a swift exit. Whatever can be gained from this place, it will do more harm than good. You say so, buddy. You say. Mm-hmm. Never heard about it is blood or anything. I've also never heard. The church controls all knowledge on blood ministration. Was the church where we got that blood vial from? Oh no. The town of the think healing so. church, known as the Cathedral Ward. Uh-huh. Deep within cathedral wars, but you did get a transfusion of something. So. Yeah. Healing I worry about the idea of getting a blood transfusion in a medieval. Uh, it's not medieval. It's like Victorian. Okay. So you were still Sorry. almost certain to die. Sorry. Yeah, I worry about getting a blood transfusion in like a Victorian era anything. That's fair. I mean. I'm pretty sure they were still trying to correct humors at that point. <laughs> so, we got pebbles and Molotov cocktails. Those are both also items. Edwardian. Nothing nothing before Edwardian do I want anyone messing with my blood. Probably don't even want anything Edwardian messing with my blood. No! I mean, it's still bad, but I feel like they learned a lot from World War One. <laughs> Oh boy, that's the unfortunate truth. I mean, that's not a a good thing, but it is a it is a true thing. I feel. Uh, There's no ladder there. No. That's what I was testing, honestly. I was curious how he was going to get up there, or if this was one of those uh, Black Knight situations where he's just going to stand down there angrily. I might notice that. Uh, ah, heck, I, heard, uh, I did not do well. Well, it was. It was a good showing. Eh, I don't know what any of this does, but sure. Let's. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be handed over to you in a minute, but let's let's do it. I mean, hand you can't to... say red skill or blue skittle because it's PlayStation. Oh, I know. Geez. It's so bad. I tell you what, the. the PlayStation controller just feels wrong in my hands. Okay. I at least have a vague idea of what the buttons do. I'm not looking down to see which button's X. Don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh. What was our bad. objective? Uh. We gotta go to the healing church. Yeah. You know. Church, what heals? Okay. Oof. The top bumper is a quicker attack. Right. Oh. The, uh, On right the other top side bumper. of the control. I'll get there. Eventually. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I believe it's triangle to use a blood vial. That might be. A good oh, call. Looks like you just pop it right in your leg. That's like an EpiPen. Yeah. Oof. Oh boy. Except that, of course, uh, at this point in time, I doubt they had the nice, easy delivery system of an EpiPen. So you lock yeah. on with what? Uh, right. Uh, right. Yeah. There you go, you got our, that went, our blood echo. There. That went much better than I thought it was going to. Good job. So we can't uh, level up yet. Right. What point can we level up? When you get a glimpse of the true nature of the that's universe. A, that's uh, a lot of dudes. Yeah, maybe like they're all going someplace. Maybe you go the other direction. That's certainly an option. Provided they don't notice me. I mean, you are not a very noticeable person. You've seen that face. Blends into a crowd. Oh, certainly. If it's a crowd of revelers with uh, terrifying, like, I don't know, Mardi Gras masks. I think that maybe 
we all need to be a little kinder to best girl wife. Okay. Oh my goodness. Bad. That looks big. It is big. We should maybe go open that door so we got our quick It's closed by a device. Yeah, but I saw a, uh, a handle. Which I assume is the device. Oh, jeez, that's Ooh. a bit of a... got a bit of a horizontal on A little bit. Triangles in hell. Oh, oh. I was trying to remember that, actually. Thank you. Unfortunate time. Yeah. Man, what is it with From Software game where everybody is three times your height? <laughs> I always figured it was that we, uh... We were short. Well... Okay, and now we gotta go kill that guy if we want our blood echoes back. Probably. I'm sorry. Well, it's controllers in Mysterious Gamer X's hands, and he's the only person who knows what's happening. So, As in, I played one character through one of the first bosses and I used an axe. Fair enough. I guess I probably could've... Sword cane is a little, or whip cane is a little weird, but... It's a neat idea, I guess. I don't know why he holds it weird. Like, as a whip, he holds it reverse hand. That right. seems like it might be limiting. Huh. Um, now that I see that you have pebbles, I assume that's how you try and separate people in crowds? Yeah, that's one of their many uses. Uh, that Molotov might have been a good opener against that big guy, but uh, hindsight, I guess. I avoid consumables because I'm a sucker for things I'll do later. Yeah, basically. I'm bad about that too, but I will say that this game seems to suggest that uh, there may not be a later, so just go ahead and do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will say that the cane's very fast as a cane. Uh, yeah, it sort of swips along when you got it in the... Uh... I feel like you get stuck in an attack animation as the whip because yeah. it's busy doing stuff. Uh, cool stuff, you know, that does damage and a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah, can't say as I'm terribly skilled with it as a whip. <laughs> nice. Oh, that guy's got our. Why's that guy got our souls? Or our uh, blood echoes. Who knows? He's saying he's talking sometimes. Our blood souls. <laughs> Do you know I was talking to somebody the other day, I think it was uh, Isaac, who, uh, his big issue was that guns didn't do enough. Ah. Uh, There's actually an in-lore reason for that. Well, it's from software game. Of course there is. Mm -hmm. What's the in-lore reason? Well, the in-lore reason, and yeah, this was the... Oh. That, that big guy's still up on the crafting materials. Ah. Crafting materials? There's a crafting system? Well, upgrade materials, whatever. No, I'm 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 legitimately asking. I I wasn't trying to. Well, the way you upgrade your gear. Is it similar to the upgrade system in uh? Yes. Souls, where it's hand over some stuff to a guy and come back. Basically. Okay. Sorry, when you said crafting, I was like, ooh, is there a part of the game where I don't have to interact <laughs> with the enemies and I can just like sit and build stuff? No. <laughs> I think my MMO background was showing there, where I was real excited about grinding levels and, like, cooking. <laughs> I was like, oh, please, cooking minigame. I had a very unfortunate uh, initial playthrough of Skyrim when I first got Skyrim, where the very first thing they show you after you get out of the intro dungeon is a uh, blacksmith setup. Oh, yeah. And I then... Did you, did you give up questing to become the world's best blacksmith? I did, and it turns out that the enemies keep scaling as you level up. Even if the only thing you're leveling up is the ability to make better knives. <laughs> so, yeah. things did not play out terribly well for me that time. Uh, that reminds me of when uh, a friend of mine was playing Oblivion. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, he was really tired of all these stupid Oblivion gates getting in the way of his questing. <laughs> uh, and so he decided for his next playthrough that he wasn't going to rescue or free Kavach. Yeah. The first town in the game that has an Oblivion gate. Uh, because the other gates don't randomly spawn till you beat that particular instance. That's true. 
so he went out about his day and you know he he made good on his uh his promise to live a better life once he got out of prison because he became the head of every guild and you know the pit fighting champion and all these <laughs> other things and he he really made a name for himself you know oh, for sure um he felt really good about his uh his early parole and all uh and then he's like oh oh right right gotta go over there and deal with that strange problem over in Kavash that never, never became got sorted. Never got sorted, but it never became a bigger issue either. So, I mean, you know, one could argue that his instance, his, his instance of the game actually seemed pretty peaceful, and uh, so yeah, he goes into Kavash. Uh, those two NPCs that are supposed to help you show up, and then uh, they don't scale. <laughs> uh, the, the Daedra in the town they do scale. So oh, it was nothing boy. but Daedroths and uh, other, you know, really big nasties. Right. Um, they immediately flattened the two party members that are supposed to help you through that. Oh, because, geez. you know, they had a handful of hit points apiece and were entry-level NPC guys. Right. Uh, yeah, so they just got flattened and he had to uh, oh, he had to make it through that uh, particular oh. instance by himself. Uh and it is not designed to be done by yourself. Those NPCs are supposed to really, really like feel useful, and in fact, like they're walking you through the instance. Oh yeah. Uh. So, he he ended that with like no consumables left, and oh, uh, just sort of limping from fight to fight, hoping that he would get to that last boss. He did it, but it was a miserable slog, and his punishment for. <laughs> invoking the wrath of the game by not doing it right. <laughs> yeah. Like, soft gates are all well and good, but... Yeah. Sometimes. I just think it's funny how broken that that Kavach instance ended up being. I mean, the fact that it lets you play the rest of the game without doing this, like, very core story point. And then, uh... Uh, for some people, they didn't complete Kavach because it was part of an early game glitch that would let you have infinite money. Oh, uh, Bethesda. See, there was this weird thing that they just never accounted for, which is that if you were on a horse, your inventory wasn't accessible by shops. Huh, how about that? But, uh, yeah, just one of those weird broken things that they do. Well, uh, we've all given it a shot, and we've met our new wonderful friend. We've been weighed, we've been measured, and we've been found wanting. None of you have addressed our friend by name, and that really hurts my feelings. And I think that maybe you should do that when we sign off. So, because uh, we're, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, and I think today's sign off should just be, goodbye, best wife. Best wife, best girl waifu. Waifu, well, best garu. <laughs> uh, tell us how much you are looking forward to shipping best girl waifu in the comments below, and we will see you next time. Catch you later. <laughs>